going on guys? It's uh, Griffin Thurby here. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, choke tube comparison for you guys. I have uh, the new Rob Roberts uh, Raptor Turkey Choke. He said it was supposed to be the best one he's ever made, specifically for turkey hunting. And I got it paired with my 12 gauge Super Black Eagle 3. And we're going to see what it can do at 20 and 40. Just to give you a comparison, I'm going to do that with uh, Burdick and also uh, Apex shells as well, just 3 inch though. So uh, hang in there, and I'll see what we got. What's going on, guys? Here's the setup. My handy-dandy blue uh, foldable chair you can get from uh, Walmart for a good price of $7.89. Bog Death Grip. Super Black Eagle 3 with a Fast Fire 2 on it. And there's the new Rob Roberts Raptor Turkey Choke. So... All right, guys, this is going to be my shot with the new Rob Roberts choke at 20 yards with the verdict 3-inch, 2-ounce, number 9 shot. Stay tuned. Next shot, I got the new Apex. There are 12 gauge, 3 inch, 2 and a quarter ounce, 9 and 10 shot, 1190 feet per second or 1190 feet per second, whatever. I just screwed that all up. This is at 20 yards with the new Rob Roberts choke tube. Damn. That's nasty. That's deadly as hell, too. guys for our next shot it's going to be 40 yards with the verdict so stay tuned for that while i walk my happy ass 20 yards back behind me All right, guys, and this is going to be the Apex number nine shot, two and a quarter ounce at 40 yards. Stay tuned as I walk my happy ass 20 yards behind me.
decided to go ahead and switch out my car since I mean, it has a good choke, just too tight for me at 20. But also could have just been the load I was shooting because I was shooting three and a half inch Lombard XRs. So today I got two different types of shells that I just shot through. I'll drop the videos in that. I got the new uh, Apex 12 gauge, three inch, two and a quarter ounce, nine and ten shot at 1190 feet per second. And then I got the Verdict inch two ounce nine shot at 1250 feet per second. So what I'm going to start off with is the 20 yard shot for my apex. At 20 yards the apex blows holes through targets. I mean it's forgiving, good core pattern. I might, I might have jerked just a little bit because I'm human. But still, still a dead bird at 20 even if you jerk just a little bit. Still got a bunch of pellets in the head, neck. So, so overall at 20 yards the apex was stout with this new Rob Roberts show. Then for the 20 yard shot for this uh, verdict, good pattern. Really like this pattern. Thought it's a damn good one. That bird's dead at 20 yards. Easily killable. Just gonna let them go. But at 40 is whenever it got really interesting. This is my 40 with the apex. Yeah, a little off, might have jerked, whatever. Still a lot more pellets in a more, like, I guess, rounded area, I'd assume that's what you'd say, or something like that. But yeah, real good core pattern, still a dead bird, it's forgiving, no big deal. Really impressed with it. What I was not impressed with was the verdict at 40 yards. Uh, if I can get a hold of it. That's, that's at 40 yards with the verdict. Yeah, I mean, I get it, human error, whatever, but still. Not, not half as many pellets, not even a quarter of how many were uh, in that apex. Still both good shells, I'd still hunt with, but I'm still going to, because I mean, hell, you got to. But at the end of the day, the Rob Roberts choke tube and the apex ammunition, that's, that's what my go-to is gonna be for this year. And this is the new Rob Roberts Raptor choke. And I got my 12 gauge Super Black Eagle 3 with a Fast Fire 2 from uh, Bears. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.